Good morning, thank you for tuning in. Now it seems like ages since I've enjoyed time to myself in this particular woodland. So I feel a little bit rushed this morning because I've been treated to some fog. And I think it's almost a year since I've enjoyed fog in, in this location, probably going back to last autumn. So yeah, beautiful, peaceful morning. There's, you can hear some light rain hitting the leaves out falling on the bracken in the understory. So beautiful atmosphere. So I've already lined up an image and, and made this one work already. Uh, quite a pleasant scene, not one I've photographed before, but a good positive start. Basically what we've got is this lovely oak tree just an anchoring the composition on the right hand side. And then down in the bottom left, there's this tiny oak tree and it, well, this just looks like a big kind of bully figure and this one's just in submission. It's just leaning back and staring up at this tree. They're a, a lovely combination, nice interaction. And that just helps to fill up the space down there as well, which otherwise would just be well, just an open space of bracken. Right in the middle of the frame, in the distance, we've got another nice oak tree with three main branches coming up, some birch trees over on the left-hand side, bringing in some space, you know, get a feeling of calm with that fog. I've tried a couple of different options. It works as a 16.9, gets something a little bit more cinematic, um, but also using the full frame, frame of the three by two also works. It's been a bit of a strange autumn. There's been a lot of talk of it, starting quite late and I'm getting that impression as well. Um, but there's some beautiful rich autumn colours here. We've got the bracken to thank for that. Um, and the bracken's okay here, it's manageable. Once you're under the canopy, it's not able to grow too tall. Um, so it has a lovely structure and colour. And I love this time of year when you get the mixture of the green, the yellow and the orange. And like I said, still some structure to the understory. And some of the mossy boulders just start to emerge again. So yes, a good positive start. Fingers crossed the fog will linger. As I was driving over, it just sort of seemed to be clinging to the, hill, to the hilltops and most of the valleys were quite clear, but it seems to have got down into the woodland here, which uh, makes a nice, a nice change. So yeah, I'm gonna get a move on. I want to take advantage of this and hopefully find one or two more images. I must admit that I was hoping for something a little bit more compositionally challenging than this, but there's no denying that these two oak trees are fantastic. Beautiful shape, character, nice subtle gesture towards each other. Um, but even though it's a pretty straightforward image, obviously our position is still crucial to get the nice relationship between them, flow in the branches, but also to make sure that we've got that sense of light in the center of the image. And that's been provided by the warm leaves on the opposite side of the valley. I can't tell what it is, what it is from here. It might be a bird cherry because there are a few of those around and they're turned into a nice yellow right now. So that's giving a lovely sense of light right through the center of the frame. Um, and then we have this very natural vignette from the dark greens of the canopy, um, but the dark greens in the valley below. That's provided by the older trees. They don't get particularly interesting in the autumn time. They're still very much uh, a deep, dark, flat green. Um, but it just sets off those, those warmer colours really quite nicely and uh, gives a bit of a darker mood to it. Really simple, vertical, 4x5, um, quite a pleasant image. The, the shapes that the oaks have fashioned over the years, they've done all the hard work. I just, uh, yeah, need to plunk the camera in the right position, I guess. Um, I'm slightly worried that the fog is now lifting. <laughs> 
I've been wandering around for quite a while. My legs are absolutely soaked from walking through wet bracken, but thankfully it's not too cold. Um, but I really must um, get a bit of a rush on to see if I can find something else. Fog is drifting in and out a little bit, but this uh, oak tree just caught my eye. It's, sort of, it's got a few struggling parts to it. Uh, there's another one just over on the right hand side, but it's more because we've got a bit of an opening in the canopy here, a uh, bit of a valley where a tiny stream runs through and a gap over here. This particular oak tree is just catching a bit of light. And I think that's the key thing when working in fog is for me these days I, I always like something kind of a little bit closer to the camera something that's catching the light um, just so we can really draw out some texture detail sometimes if you've got some bracken or wet leaves close to the camera then uh, they reflect really nicely and it's just all about that kind of intricate detail which I personally get a bit of a kick out of um, because it prints so well, which just gets a little bit lost if, if everything's a bit too far away from the camera. So, I mean, this isn't a perfect example of that, but at least this foreground oak tree just stands out a little bit more. And it's got this side as well is actually still quite dry. So there's a bit of texture in the back coming through. Um, but that's set, it's set against all the trees back there, which have some nice moss on the branches deep green in the leaves some of those leaves actually reflecting a bit of light uh, there's a rowan tree down here which just has a tiny little sprinkling of berries left on it uh, which it's a bit of a shame but i mean it's the first time i've come across this scene maybe i'll come back uh, next year and see if i can do something with that rowan tree down there uh, but yeah quite complex this branches everywhere squiggling in all directions um but yeah i'm just gonna i'm gonna give it a go just because i quite like the very soft light on this foreground tree see what turns out see if I can get a I don't know let's have a look possibly a 4 by 5 crop out of this not entirely happy with that one it's quite pleasant but I think I've spotted something down there just a slightly different angle it goes back to what I was saying about having things a little bit closer to the camera bring out all that detail and texture and this lovely rich bracken a few leaves here I mean I do love the particularly soft and ethereal images in fog as well where you don't where you get very little detail and it's more about shape but I think when it's you've got mist passing through all this wet foliage it seems a shame not to take advantage of that the light is definitely improved but the mist is gone it does keep drifting in and out so I'll, I'll have some patience I'll get something framed up and then hope that it comes back I was speaking to a client yesterday and we were working on an image and I said yes we're taking a photograph that is of trees but it isn't necessarily about trees and what I mean by that is is that sometimes how we compose the image is more guided by some of the other things in the scene such as the color the texture the balance of these different elements it might just be about the light but it, it's it's of trees just not about trees um, it's just a different way of thinking it comes back to what I used to say about uh, when you go into the woods don't look for trees Sounds bonkers, but it, it does work.
Right. I'll work on this and then uh, see what you think. These are the same trees from the opposite side and I think there's potential from this angle too. It certainly goes to show that whenever you find some interesting trees they have to be explored from all possible angles and uh, really exhaust any potential opportunities. But yeah, I think I'll come back to these on a, on a future visit. It's a shame the fog is now lifted, but I do want to make another image before I head home because I was just wandering through this area of private woodland. I do have permission to access this, but I've never been to this part before. And it's got some fantastic alder trees. Like I said, I am a bit of a fan of alder trees. No autumn colour, it's still very, very green here. Um, but we can use alder trees to our adva advantage by having that coolness of the deep green against the warm autumn colours. Now, there isn't many autumn colours here, apart from just a splattering of bird cherry leaves back there. I've been wanting to photograph a bird cherry for ages um, because they have fabulous blossom in the springtime. But now they're taking on some nice autumn colours. And it's not going to come through strongly, it's only a small amount. But I just like the fact that it's cradled by these mossy, bald, arching alder branches coming over from right to left there, from left to right there. A little bit of connectedness between the the branches um, and there was a moment about 10 minutes ago where the light just lifted and just backlit those bird cherry leaves a little bit more but i missed it unfortunately but oh actually it's just lifting ever so slightly now so i'm just going to grab that again very very minor shift in the light there are a few challenges i would like to bring in more from the right hand side but there's these hazel leaves creeping into the image then that hit of color is going to be a bit of distraction against the the cooler greens in the rest of the image and so the only autumn color that i want to come through is that bit right in the middle of the frame it's probably going to be either a four by five or a square i've tried a couple of different options taking in more higher up coming down a little bit lower um but yeah it's quite a nice result like i said the fog has dissipated it would have been nice to have that but it's still worthwhile to carry on working. But yeah, final image I think, see what you make of that. Okay, that is me done. I really must get back and get some work done and prepare for the Scotland workshops. Uh, but also I'm very happy to say that my book Gathering Time is now finished. I've had, I've had a few very late evenings recently doing some final tweaks, but I'm super happy and proud with the end result. So that's going to the printers tomorrow to get its first full proof done. And then hopefully not long after that, I can give it the thumbs up and it will go to press. But I will let you know as soon as it is available to order. But please stay tuned because I've taken a couple more images in the last 30 minutes. They might turn out okay, uh, but I'll add a few other recent images to the end as well. It's going to be about three weeks until us. Oh, that's Meg, say Meg saying goodbye. <laughs> it's going to be about three weeks until I'm back again because of the Scotland workshops. But thank you very much for watching this episode. 
and hope to see you again very soon.